29th, December 2020, an unexpected visitor conveyed in a commercial tricycle came calling at the Ojaba residence of our community leader, Alajid Nureni Akombi. The Kekena pep rider had brought a fair complexioned woman with Yoruba tribal mark to the family house of Alajid Akombi, who is the Aruleiba Uluyoli. According to the Kekena pep rider, the stranger who arrived from Ijebu day earlier in the day asked him to convey her to Ojaba area where she intended to inquire about a missing leak in her life. Hence, he brought her to the community leader. It was last week, Tuesday, exactly this time, around 12, I came in. I just met one Mariwa outside the gate there. The Mariwa driver, said, I said, why did you park Mariwa this side of the gate? He said, he brought some people. Then I saw this uh, young lady. I was greeting her in a uh, Yoruba language because of her uh, uh, tribal marks. He said she didn't understand. They are, they are here to see me. See me for what? Then I came inside and uh, sat. The Marwa man was introducing her. Say, who are you? What's your name? She cannot even speak any Yoruba language. She cannot even pro pronounce her or uh, be. So she started telling me that she came to Ibadi with this Marwa without knowing anybody. Although she was unable to communicate in Yoruba language despite her Yoruba facial mark, she expressed herself in English. Her story goes thus. What brought me here is that I have already due to settle. It's not that man is not coming to my hand in marriage. They are coming, big, big people. No, no poor people have come to my hand in marriage in life. But at the end, they will say, is it Yoruba they are marrying or Igbo? Because I did not even hear Yoruba. I now change my mind. It reached a stage. I said, okay, let me change my mind and marry Yoruba. Yoruba man will now come. When he look at this mark, he will say no. I don't want to marry my sister because I don't know. Maybe you are my from my family now. Tell me the truth. Let me let us start finding it. Before we know, the person will just go like that. At this last uh, one now is from Oyo. I saw okay, since it's from Oyo, through this mark, okay, let me settle with him. The same thing he said. Then I start moving from one place to another. So when I go to the church, they now say, I have to go and find my biological father. That he lay cause because my mommy, they took me by force. They didn't want to hand his daughter to him. The mission of the lady who speaks Igbo friendly is to look for a biological father, a Yoruba man and a soldier simply called Balogun, whom she had never set her eyes on. The lady who gives her name as Vivian Ome claimed that her mother of Igbo tribe, who is now late, took her to Enugu, making it impossible for her father to see her again. She's been living with her mother's relatives before she became a grown-up lady. It took a long time before she knew she had tribal marks as she was forbidden from using a mirror by her people. She has only one request in her mission to Ibadan, looking for a biological father known as Balogun, a soldier. Having explained her ordeal, the lady threatened to commit suicide by 31st December 2020, two days away, which happened to be her birthday if she was unable to locate her biological father. Touched by this statement, Alaji Akombi was moved to compassion and gave a real commitment. I said, you don't need to commit suicide. I'm adopting you from today. So for that day, I will do everything humanly possible. So when it was five o'clock, I have to give her rice and give her money and give her money. Go and celebrate your birthday. I'm adopting her, pending the time of anybody who wanted to claim her. I've instructed my lawyer. So whoever has claim to contact me. 
like they always say wonder shall never end this is quite a um an interesting one an interesting one lots of things happening that you never even envisage that it could be happening but i just believe that at the end of the day everything will be well, well sorted that well one of the yoruba men that said they or rejected that on the flimsy excuse that he didn't want to end up marrying his sister is highly unreasonable are the millions of other yoruba men marrying their Yoruba women marrying their sisters. I am quite certain that she will locate her family member since she has the backing of the traditional rulers. Of course, they will trace, 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 trace. I don't even know. Since uh, her mother is late, at least there will be somebody that uh, that the woman must have told, okay, this and this and that. That was why they could even, she could even remember, oh, Balogo. And they say, and she according to what's the story saying that uh, they will forbid forbade her for using mirror so that she will not see a tribal mark i don't even know how that can really happen okay uh she okay i have um the lord will break her barriers for her in the name of jesus according to what someone is saying here they know they should take her case to the paramount uh, ruler of a uh, they should have taken her case to the paramount ruler of uh, your kingdom they will invite all the others and ask about the travel army officer in their do mean of course they know how to go about it take shit in jesus thing hmm. well this is a uh, unreasonable please let her go to any popular radio station in ibadan to broadcast on air that will help her locate her father's family yorubas are fond of abandoning their children like that i love one in my family i have one in my family too born by a military man who got married to my sister in the 70s the mother is late and nobody has ever heard of the father like seriously like i said a lot of things are really happening i am a uh i'm a victim of such in the hand of a abia gay that ran away with twins i could not trace her up till now like seriously hey hey my father once had a boy with an ouchie woman who took him away from abadino university college of ibadan in 1970s we couldn't trace them to today like i said some people are saying it is fake news this and that you can imagine you know some people at least when you hear something you just have to be open-minded and just that okay if you have not experienced something doesn't mean that people are not going through a lot and you can imagine a lot of people testifying here that uh, this and that and it's still happening still happening okay one of my elder brothers was a soldier during the civil war after the war he came back home with pictures of the Igbo woman he met during the war they had two sons together he had pictures of them too now he had passed away and i was and i was too young then to realize the implications and ask more questions now i think i have two Igbo nephews that i could not trace and who probably are suffering from being saved severed from their paternity paternal roots but why did the woman take the girl away at infancy without ever thought of the need to let her know her roots <laughs> but did the mother told her she's from ibadan hmm. of course that was why she was able to get a get a the name balugo hmm. i once had an encounter with a young lady of about 16 years during my nyc in Uma here abia says i was deployed to a village i think late agri roses for INEC voters registration exercise and this lad showed up for registration when asked for his uh, name he replied femi with a yoruba surname in a typical ethnic uh, camaradia camaradia i could switch to yoruba and the guy was just looking at me like a dump Hmm. villagers around quickly came to his rescue that he couldn't comprehend a word in yoruba i was shocked the narration went further to reveal something like the guy lost his yoruba father at infancy and the igbo mom had to bring him to her own mother in the village for her to move on with her own life in lagos i was awestruck but more concerned for the future of the boy when it would come to authenticate his state of origin with this type of tribal marks she should be able to locate her roots hmm. she should have asked her mom why she was alive where exactly is her father from in all your state but 
she was not smart the only thing her mom most likely could have taught her was how to make money no wisdom it's a pity god will help her achieve her desires very common in Igbo land hmm, now wow i really pity her foundation but i pray for her make god help her find a lasting solution to her others and everyone inside her shoes well sad story may god help her so guys let's hear your opinion and let's know what you think in the comment section